we officially have a new voice actor voicing Jimmy Pesto. Why? Well, because the original voice actor was arrested and banned from ever being on Bob's Burgers again. Yeah, it's intense, but we've got all the details right here for you. A uh, good time to grab a hot dog or some popcorn. Bob's credits. Before we introduce you to the amazing voice actor who started voicing Jimmy Pesto in season 14, let's give you a brief backstory of the drama. The drama. The drama. Give mama the gossip. Will be brief, but dramatic. Jay Johnston, the original voice actor who voiced Jimmy Pesto, was fired from Bob's Burgers in 2021 after being seen participating in the January 6th Capitol riot. Whoops. <laughs> he wasn't just floating around there, y'all. The New York Times reported that he was seen pushing officers and pushing officers with a stolen shield. His own text messages also documented that he was, in fact, there. Trev was nowhere to be found. <laughs> sorry, sorry. The latest update? Jay Johnston was arrested on June 7th of 2023, and he's facing four charges. Needless to say, something had to happen with Jimmy Pesto, and fans were so confused and so anxious considering we hadn't seen him since season 11. There were a lot of theories floating around. Would he be revoiced? Would they make up a reason why he had to leave the show and bring in his ex-wife to run the pizza restaurant? We just really didn't know. Did Trev murder him? <laughs> that was just a theory I had. I think you just like snap at a certain point. You can only take so much, yeah. okay? Team Trev. Team Trev. You've got a chin scritch. At the end of 2023, we finally got our answer. Jimmy Pesto has been revoiced and the new actor made his premiere in season 14's Believe It or Not. And let me tell y'all, the new voice actor nailed Jimmy Pesto. So who is he? Let's find out. Meet Eric Bauza. Not Skylar. Eric's gonna pop up right here right now. An award-winning voice actor known for taking over already established characters. Here are just a few of the characters he's taken over for. Bugs Bunny, Woody Woodpecker, Daffy Duck, and Stimpy from Ren and Stimpy. But that's not all. Let me pull up my notes. <laughs> I wish I had like reading glasses that I could pull out right now. You're gonna need reading okay. glasses pretty soon. Buster Bunny from Tiny Toons. Tweety Bird, Puss in Boots in Netflix's The Adventures of Puss in Boots. He's a guy you call in, to do a flawless impersonation of... An already established character. Which made him perfect to come in and do Jimmy Pesto. Because let's be honest, we know what happens when someone like Lauren Bouchard tries to take over a voice like Mickey. Anyway, let's never lie to each other again, but uh, don't tell anybody we talked, okay? Whoops. Even Lauren said it was a mistake though, y'all, so don't worry. All right, so Eric, voice wizard, we are honored as fans to have him on this show. Voice Wizard sounds like a character that he would do the voice of. <laughs> it does. Yeah. Sounds like a show that you watched in the 90s. Yeah, I grew yeah. up watching Voice Wizards. <laughs> I, I believed you. I see. <laughs> All right, y'all, let's take a listen to some of his work. Man, what's up, Doc? I'm Woody Woodpecker. <laughs> it's not my fault, officer. It's him. Incredible, right? And now we're going to take a listen to his Jimmy Pesto, but first, let's listen to the original Jimmy Pesto. Hey, what are you doing, Bob? Putting up a warning sign? Danger, dumb guy inside. Ha <laughs> ha, zoom! And now, Eric. Hey, I'm Bob. I like to sweep, but I can't keep any customers as zoom. It's slightly different if you're comparing them side by side, but near perfection and also adds a little something to the character, if you ask me. There's a little bit more, like, Sopranos to him, almost. He's one of us. I would watch a full Jimmy Pesto Sopranos themed episode. A hundred percent. But back to Eric's voice. I totally agree with Max. And I also have to say, if anyone is being nitpicky about this swap out, I don't know what to tell you. This is phenomenal voice actor work. So Eric, you got our vote. Not that you needed it, like you did not need it, but we want to give something to you. What 
would you like to give Eric? Just thanks and gratitude for coming on to the show that we love. And I want to give you a hug, sir. No? What's wrong with a hug? Not enough grown men hugging in I'm this world. I'm one to touch. I'm one <laughs> to touch. I want to give you a consensual hug, if you would have my hug. Is that okay? It's great. Okay. I, I hope we run into Eric at the grocery store later I know. this week. I'm really going to be like, I don't want to hug him. Yeah. Not you. So I, I'm not a big hugger. You're not? Not to random people. No, that would be okay. weird. My yes. point from the beginning. Okay, makes sense. Please don't go out and just hug Eric Bowser. Okay, this is getting a little awkward for me now. Anyway, you know that we would not leave you with an extra fun fact. Eric also voices Big Bob after replacing both H. John Benjamin and Bill Hader. I guess I'm good at aiming water at stuff, except in the bathroom, sometimes. I'm working on it. We all are. So he once again has swooped in and is revoicing a beloved character. Eric Bowser will be revoicing me in our next YouTube video. And <laughs> I will hug him when he does. Eric Bowser, the guy you call in to voice a character in a pinch when you need a professional. That being said, we of course always want to hear your thoughts. What do you think of the new casting? Comment below. And if you want to procrastinate more, check out this video right here. Oh, hello. <laughs> we love kissing the videos. As long as you're not hugging them. We're not them. hugging them. We asked the video if that was okay first. <laughs> I have to do my line all over No, again? no, I'll do mine all okay. over <laughs> That might make the end. <laughs> that was at her panic. Blooper clip, yeah. <laughs>